Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made these two little mini aquarium type things in jars. I don't know what you wanna call them. They've got like little prawns in and a little fish in each. I'm absolutely in love with them. I think they've turned out so cute. I'm gonna be using them as little decorations over on my shelf, which is where you're sat right now. But I just think that they're gonna be adorable. So I thought I'd show you how I made these because they were really, honestly a load of fun to make and maybe you want to make something like this i don't know but yeah you can see how i make these if you just keep on watching <laughs> So these are the two glasses that I'm using to make my mini aquariums. They're just like these little glass jars which my mum actually gave me. I really, really love them and I figured that they would be perfect to make the mini aquariums in. So in order to do so, I needed to make the little bits to go inside. So I made the out of polymer clay. I started off with the little prawns. So I rolled out a little ball, then just used my finger to kind of roll it out into like a little snake. And then I pinched one of the ends, curving it round, as you can see here, just curving it round to make the tail. I then made like the little tail end bit of the shrimp by taking another small ball of polymer clay and then I just used my thumbnail just to kind of split it down like half of one side and then I pinched together the two ends that were kind of split if that makes any sense but it just ended up being like a pointy little heart which turned out like so as you can see here super adorable to attach that i just popped it onto the base bit like the pointy bit of the prawn tail and then my prawn shape was done so i made two of those in total i then moved on to make like the little seaweed parts so to do this i made out some little snakes and then just folded them and bended them just with my fingers and then popped them down onto my tile just to make them slightly flatter so i carried on going until i was happy with the amount that i had just rolling out little snakes of polymer clay folding them round and then just you know pressing them down into my ceramic tile i do them on ceramic tile because i'm able to put that straight into the oven and not have to move them which turns out perfectly to make the little fish, I just used an even smaller ball of polymer clay, just like I did on the prawn, and then I added the tail in the exact same way until I was left with all of these things, which I then baked in the oven. So I baked mine at 110 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Once they were out and cooled down, I then started painting them. You can, of course, do these in whatever colour um, clay you have, but I like to just do all of my clay in the same color and then just paint on the details afterwards. So to keep all of that paint in, I used some UV resin over the top, cured it down with a UV nail lamp so that all the paint was protected for when I put in the epoxy to keep it all together. For the prawns, I actually ended up painting them yellow, realized my mistake because I wanted them to be like raw prawns instead of like um, tempura prawns. I just keep making tempura prawns like on absolutely everything, like my little logo recently, so I got a bit distracted there. So I painted them in a light orange and then with a dark orange, I just did a stripe like design on them. Look at that, so cute. And then I painted the tails in a slightly darker ready orange shade to that dark orange stripe color. Once this was done, I then put on little faces at the front of the prawns and then I glazed them just like I did with the seaweeds, just using UV resin and just curing that down with my UV lamp. I also did the exact same on the fish, but I painted one in a pink, one in a purple and I gave them little spots and little like fin details and stuff, which I thought was so cute. assemble my little mini aquarium jars what i did was i took some more uv resin uh, this is a reminder to myself i need to buy more uv resin after this and i used tweezers just to place the pieces down into it and using my uv led torch i was able to get those to stay in place by curing off that uv resin just by moving the torch in and around where those pieces were kind of setting this gave a really quick kind of cure 
so that the pieces could just hold down in place and then once I had all of the pieces in place I did actually put them underneath my nail lamp just to completely cure the resin off. So I also put the fish in there, cured it down with some UV resin again. I actually put the pink one in between the seaweed so it stayed up but obviously not all of the bits can stay on seaweed. So for the prawn I actually made it like a little um like a little riser almost so I took some parchment paper like baking paper put some UV resin on that cured it down and then I just like peeled it off and cut it down to size almost acting like a little shelf for the prawn to sit on so that it was all nice and clear so I cut off the top and the bottom of that piece of cured UV resin and then I secured that to the bottom of the jar as well and then I like cured the prawn on top of that if that makes any sense but it basically it just kept it from being on the bottom so that it kind of looked like the prawn was swimming around in there Once I was happy with the placement of the prawn, I then decided to set the whole entire thing. So I mixed up some epoxy resin in like the crystal clear, just weighed out using my scales, mixed it up very, very, very slowly to minimize the amount of bubbles. And then I started pouring it into my jars. So I started pouring this really, really slowly. Well, it wasn't really, really slowly. It was like as slowly as I could think to do it. As you can see, just pouring it in, pouring it in and just filling up as as I went along um to be honest I was left with a few bubbles and I did end up keeping these on an uneven surface so they didn't level out as much as I had hoped I put too much resin in the first one so I spread it out over the other one as well and as you can see here it filling up is so satisfying I'm trying to do it as slow as I possibly can you know to minimize these bubbles but some did make their way in there and cure in there which is why I'm going to be keeping these for myself for a very long time I think they're so cute look at the little fish's face I love that to make sure that there was no resin on the outside of the jars I used an alcohol wipe just to remove any like sticky residue or anything like that I didn't want them you know to be on the outside but I did spill a little bit on the top of the jars but once the excess was then removed my little jars were then complete I just had to leave them for 24 hours to set but this is pretty much what they look like even now once the epoxy resin has fully hardened fully set and they're ready to go so this is how my two mini aquariums have turned out. I absolutely love them. I've made one with the pink fish, one with the purple one, just to make them slightly different. I just love them. So I'm going to be putting them on my shelf over there as little decoration pieces. I was going to be putting these on my shop, but I think I'm going to keep them to myself because they're not perfect. The resin themselves like um, dip down a little bit. It's completely set and everything, but I'm not 100% happy with the outcome, but yeah what can you do i'm happy with them to keep them in my own little room i think they're so sweet the little prawn there is so adorable i just love it so anyway, i hope you have enjoyed today's video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and i will see you very soon for another one bye